Hello my soccer universe for a very very special video uh, that I've been working on for the past yeah almost half a week or so on but before I tell you what this Jersey World Cup that I'm gonna do here is all about first credit where credit is due the idea is not originally mine um, Idris from uh, Amudi Mayo made a home Jersey World Cup where he picks goes through a tournament live and picks which jerseys he likes better and then has a final where he has a winner. I'm not going to spoil it. His video is really entertaining and fun, especially because it is live. Now, I watched this video or already because I knew this particular video, the way I want to do it, uh, will need a little bit of preparation. And then it was a little bit of vindication that uh, me and his opinions, while different at some point, uh, still quite similar okay jersey world cup uh my idea is and how i want to make this different is i don't choose just home jerseys and away jerseys uh what i decided to do is i'm gonna go through all of the 64 games of the tournament and i'm trying to guess the actual jersey matchup and you will see uh how confident i'm in these guesses which is always a part that i like i i like to do to kind of see where will FIFA surprise me with their weird kit rules? And then, based on that, I decide on a random score that kind of should uh, tell you my excitement about this and also how these shirts relate to each other. Now, before we dive in, a few caveats are in order. First off, this is not necessarily the World Cup of what is the best shirt or what is the best selection of kits. It is literally how the kit matchups determine how you go on. So a good example is are these guys, England, where I like the away shirt a whole lot more than the home shirt. And I can already spoil England would have done, done much better if I would have seen at any point that they may have played in their away shirt. So uh, that's it's just the way it turns out. It might also be in a knockout stage that you might have worn a strong kit in the entire group stage and then just because of the draw it turns out you have to wear your not so good away kit and suddenly you're eliminated from the competition so have that in mind is mostly fun also i also have to say this is purely my opinion how i judge these jerseys and sometimes it's not very consistent because i look at the jersey matchup and this might actually already uh inform you know give me a different feel for certain things so maybe some results do not make uh, in the grand scheme of things uh, that much sense overall, but I think overall I'm fairly consistent with it all. Now, I expect this to be a longer video, so let's not waste further time and let's start out with Group A. And before we get into the matches, here are the contenders, uh, if you uh, indulge me. We have Qatar, we have Ecuador, we have Senegal, we have the Netherlands. I think it's a rather eclectic mix, two Nike, Nike, Nike teams and uh, some few interesting designs in there. The opening game in this group is of course Qatar against Ecuador, where before we go into the what I think the result <laughs> would be based on jerseys, um, where I actually think that uh, FIFA will just allow Ecuador to play in their yellow jerseys, but it might be an all yellow kit. Um, but they have a white jersey also there that I could see also being used, but I decide based on the yellow. Based on the yellow, I think both jerseys are on the rather on even footing and every uh, opening game usually starts out with a draw. So we have a 1-1 one, one draw here. Senegal, though, completely rocked the Netherlands with their outstanding home jersey. The Netherlands, too light of an orange color. It's a 3-1 win for Senegal and Senegal does the same thing to Qatar where uh, their uh, jersey is just way better than what Qatar's home offering is. The Netherlands also have a really tough matchup against Ecuador. I love the Ecuador away jersey and they just pipped the Netherlands uh, to that one. So two losses for the Netherlands already. Yeah, if you would have worn such a design, you would have done much better. Final matches, Senegal beat out Ecuador. I actually don't dislike this away jersey for Senegal. It's just a tad better for, uh, than Ecuador. They beat out that and they have a clean sweep for Senegal. And Qatar and the Netherlands with a 1-1. One, one, I think those are two very interesting designs overall. And so with a group finishing with Senegal on 9 points, Ecuador on 4, Qatar on 2 and the Netherlands with 1 
point. Group B is actually a very tricky group because honestly, there are not many great jerseys in there, especially the two Nike offers are a disappointment where the Iran kits uh, are quite nice and, uh, you know, Wales is just average Adidas. However, it also features one of the best kits, in my opinion, of the World Cup, which we won't see in the matchups, which is, of course, the England away. So let's dig in. England home has no chance against Iran. The leopard patterns win, but both uh, juries don't uh, excite me much. So it's a 1-0 for Iran. Then Wales, I think, is a way better. Despite it being average, then this awful US home jersey. I love this one. That one looks awful because it takes everything that's bad by Nike. Too many ideas. Gone. US losing 2-0 to Wales. In a very average uh, matchup between Wales and Iran, both playing in the home shirts, it screams 1-1 one, one tie. Nil-nil could have been in there as well. England uh, against the United States, you know, not two not great kids. The colors are good. It's just the way they are made is not good. It's an awful matchup. Nil-nil. I wouldn't expect much more from these two. And then Wales also beats the England home jersey. Again, average over, um, yeah, nice colors, but not good design. It's just a 1-0. And Iran does the same to the United States, uh, although it's a lot closer with the away jersey. And so this group finishes with both Wales and Iran finishing on seven points, but Wales having just the edge in goal difference. And England also having the edge in goal difference over the United States of America. In my opinion, Group C has some of the best, but also some of the more average and more disappointing jerseys. A very, very interesting uh, group overall. I particularly want to point out Mexico, but also we have a great Argentina away jersey who ditched their, well, what I like, the navy blue for a more blue purpley. And the home jersey is always a nice design. Saudi Arabia looks also nice, but then Poland, yeah, kind of so and so. Digging into the games, it should most of the time be straightforward. We have, I think that the classic Argentina stripes, though, although the shirt looks a little bit templatey, will beat out that Saudi Arabia wager jersey, which is also just straight off catalog. There's nothing really special about this one, 2-1. Uh, in the battle of the feathers, I think Mexico's home jersey, which I'm warming so and so one time, I like it when I don't, will beat out Poland because the Poland jersey is just lazy effort overall. Then we have Poland against Saudi Arabia away. Uh, that just doesn't excite me at all. It's a nil-nil all the way. Then we have Mexico beating Argentina. I think, the, um, although I like the classic Argentina stripes, the color doesn't do it. It's a bit, little bit too templatey, and I think the Mexico is a teeny bit, teeny bit better. Um, however, when it comes against Poland, Argentina will probably will wear their away jersey, and what a glorious uh, look that is, and easily wiping aside Poland, two 0 and then probably in the matchup of the round, I think that the Saudi Arabia home jersey is just a tad better than the Mexico home jersey. And it's a really, really exciting matchup, 3-2, which actually means that Mexico will not finish first in this group. It is Argentina on six points ahead of Mexico with six points. Argentina having a better goal diff diff difference. Saudi Arabia with four and Poland with one are eliminated. To me, Group D is super, super exciting with such a class effort offered up by France. Uh, however, I think the... One that really ex excites me even more is what Tunisia is having by Kappa with, uh, while the jerseys from afar look rather simple, if you look up close, there's this pattern of what is called, we call Hannibal's armor. He, it was never worn by Han Hannibal, look, look, look it up on Wikipedia. Uh, but those are really, really cool. The other thing that will be very interesting with Group D is I think this is the one group where we will see FIFA um, kit rules coming into play and uh, offering up some weird jersey matchups, which I will address on. It is curious that we have two teams that have um, a third jersey released there. There might be a reason for that. Just saying that. Going in, into the match matches, uh, Tunisia's away jersey in white is still much better than the monochromatic Denmark kit. It's an easy win for Tunisia there and France's class effort is just miles better than whatever Australia offering up. So 3-0 there. Then um, that's the first one where I'm a little bit uh, not sure. I mean it would make sense that uh, Tunisia play in their red jersey against Australia's uh, yellow. 
However, I'm not 100% convinced that it will work out that way because FIFA has been red and yellow, not always. So I could see a third jersey for Tunisia playing in there as well. Um, but then this is also very similar to the colors of what Australia are wearing. So that's an interesting one. I think it will go up this way. It doesn't matter for the final outcome because Tunisia is going to wipe the floor with Australia like France just did. Um, and France easily class effort. The white jersey of Denmark, I think it's probably the one that I almost like uh, best. Although it's all monochromatic, all boring. France, not very um, exciting from the pattern, but it's such a class effort. 2-0. Easy. Uh, in a battle of boring kids, and this is the one where the last World Worker both teams played in the away jersey. That's why I think Denmark might use the third jersey there. It could also play in red, and Australia will. I don't know if they will. Pull, so I'm not. I'm really not very certain what FIFA is gonna do here. I decided on the yellow versus black, but you see, 50% only for the black one. It's boring. Nil nil has no uh, bearing on the final outcome. Where is all to play for between Tunisia and France? And I think that the Tunisia home jersey is just a bit better than the France away jersey. Although I do like the patterning in there. But in a, a really exciting battle, 3-2 for Tunisia, who take the group with 9 points ahead of France with 6. Denmark finishing ahead of Australia, but both with only 1 point. Group E is where all the Adidas fans will probably go a little bit AWOL because three of the four teams are Adidas and then we have an offering by New Balance. I think it's also very much of a mixed bag because some of the designs are really uh, great of what Adidas are doing, but not all of them are naturally to my liking. And I especially find that the Japan home jersey could also be problematic with determining the kit matchups because... The white panel, although it's not very prominent here on these pictures, but when you have seen this in match, it is rather, rather prominent. Suddenly the jersey becomes actually quite uh, more, almost more white than blue. So uh, very, very interesting. In any case, we'll start out with two marquee Adidas teams in uh, Germany and Japan. I think both are very interesting designs. It is... Will is exciting, but I really can't decide which one I do like more. So it's a 2-2 for me, whereas Spain's class effort, not exciting, but similar to France, it's a classic Adidas effort, uh, easily should win out over the Costa Rica wagers, which is not bad, but uh, overall a bit boring. Um, Japan against Costa Rica, I think it will be red against blue. Um, although I could also see the white jersey being worn, but exactly the caveat that there's so much white in the Japan jersey might lean that FIFA says to Costa Rica, please wear your red jer jerseys. In any case, I think the red jersey is not bad uh, overall, and so I would say it's actually a draw between those two, uh, believe it or not, but I think it, it, this is a rather uh, tight one. Uh, and same thing goes for Spain against Germany. I think both are class efforts. I still have to get around to uh, totally liking the black center stripe for Germany, uh, but on the other side, I also have, have, have to say the Spain jersey, while it's class, it also leaves me a little bit wanting. So 1-1 one, one, uh, in here. Then similar what I said for um, Costa Rica also applies for Japan against Spain. And I actually could see because the Spanish away jersey is light blue. They will not worn against Japan. So I think Spain will wear red against Japan. However, Japan could go to either their third jersey or also the white one. I still think that the blue against the red will just work out. However, I find the Spain jersey better than the Japan uh, jersey overall. And then Germany should easily beat, but not by much, but easily beat Costa Rica in the white against the red. And therefore, we get a group where Spain finishes with seven points, Germany with five. You see, rather, even Japan doesn't get a win, only two points, and Costa Rica out with one point. For Group F, I'm still mad that Canada don't get new kits. Um, it will also be a group where I think the kit regulations could play into. Overall, I think Morocco, ha those shirts I do like best, although I also do like the away jerseys for Belgium and especially Croatia, who I'm wearing here. So let's go in. I think the opener uh, is already the Morocco home against the Croatia away jersey. Two really, really well designed kits. I don't see Croatia wearing the um, uh, home jersey here. 
Um, I could see that FIFA forces Morocco to go with the away jersey for better contrast, so that's why only the 70%, but if it's the red against the blue, I really like Morocco's effort. It gives me all the 98 feels, which were really, really, really nice and uh, color, color flip. So 3-2, very exciting. Uh, Match to start, start it off. Um, not so, I mean, Belgium against Canada is, should be rather straightforward there. Uh, Belgium against the Morocco away. I really think this Morocco away is underrated. Um, I do like both jerseys quite some. Maybe the 3-3. Three, three. And now that I think about it, it's a little bit high. But I really like uh, both of them. I know the Belgium is a little bit tacky, but I do like the flames. And I like all this ornamental pattern uh, on this Morocco away wager. So I, I think I can just justify the 3-3. Three, three. Now, this is one of the jersey matchups that I have absolutely no idea uh, of. Croatia could play all their games in their way, Georgia, and if they would, I think they would actually do a whole lot better in my competition. However, I think there is a way, if Croatia play in their home jersey, that Canada play in their away jersey. Uh, in the third jer uh, jer jersey, they have been used, using uh, towards qualifying, but who knows? So I'm really, really uncertain about this one. If I chose this one, because in a way I want to see, because I want to see Croatia wear their home colors, although I don't like it. Uh, both of these jerseys don't really excite me much, so it's just a nil-nil. Uh, way more exciting. And here I really think that both will play in their away jersey. I really think they will bo both play in their away jersey, because I don't see it in any other, other way. And then the beautiful Croatia away jersey will beat out the Belgium away jersey just a little bit. I love the Belgium away jersey. However, it feels like a specialty jersey. But the, those two are really, really cool. Uh, and Morocco's away jersey is just better than uh, Canada's home jersey. And so the group ends with Morocco winning this group and Belgium and Croatia finishing level on points. However, Belgium on goal difference. One point, one goal better than Croatia. Canada being, of course, eliminated. Big fat caveat for Group G. As of I'm shooting this video, there's still a dispute going on on which kids Cameron are gonna wear. I think that Cameron will push to wear the newly released Awful One kids and not the Lecoq Sportif kids. Um, so I hate these kids. If there was Lecoq Sportif, I think Cameron and use the ones from the AFCON, Cameron would perform much, much better in this group. A group that Brazil's offering I overall really like, although I find the home jersey a tad too light. Um, and the two Puma uh, teams are rather average. So let's get into it. Even average Switzerland will just wipe the floor with the Cameron away jersey. That's a 3 0 all uh, day. And Brazil 2-0 over Serbia. I do like the new Serbia crest. However, the jersey itself leaves me a little bit wanting. I think that the Brazil jersey is just a tad better with the leopard pattern. And even with the new crest and the lighter colors, it, it is a class jersey. It has, to, has, has to be said. Serbia is away against Cameroon home. Both not good. I think the Cameroon home is probably the better one. Uh, the best one of the three that they have released. But I still think that the Serbia home jersey, although uh, away jersey, is still better. So a 1-0 win for Serbia there, whereas Brazil will wipe the floor with Switzerland 3-1, as you would expect. Um, then we have Serbia against Switzerland. Now, I have to say, the Switzerland away reminds me a lot of the 2016 away. However, it's gray, it's boring, and the Serbia also. It's boring. This is a, a jersey match that bores me to tears. Nil, nil. And Brazil over Cameroon are very easy. I mean, this is a clear difference in class. That's a 4-0. So Brazil sweep through this group with 9 points. Switzerland just ahead of Serbia because the jersey matchups fell their way. And Cameroon out as the worst offering overall. And Group H, the last one, it's kind of so-and-so in terms of jerseys. I have to say the Ghana home looks quite nice, as does the Uruguay home. And probably the uh, most interesting one is the one for South Korea. Uh, Portugal, I'm not so sure overall. Let's get into it. Uruguay, I think that the classic Uruguay look just beats out a red Korea look. I'm not sure I like the black accents overall. Uh, I would wish for a little bit more color. And Ghana home jersey is just way better than Portugal's home jersey. So 2-0 there. Um, Ghana just over the um, uh, Korea home jersey. I do like the tiger stripes. <laughs> I do like tiger stripes. However, uh, the red and the black don't sit quite with me. 
and red and black is my one of my favorite color combinations. Um, Uruguay's away, I still is th still better than the Portugal home, despite the box there. Although I the colors are not bad on this one, um, and yeah, we have then Ghana against Uruguay, a two-two. I think both are really, really nice Puma shirts and we'll end it with Portugal beating South Korea 2-0. I think their wager is a little bit underrated, although it has two ideas at once in there. So we'll end the group stage with Ghana and Uruguay both finishing seven points and Portugal just over Korea with three points versus zero points. And just like that, we are in the knockout stage and we'll have eight pairings. Let's uh, go right through them. Senegal against Iran. Uh, Senegal's home jersey is just way better than Iran's home jersey. Uh, although uh, away jersey, although I do like the leopard skin pattern, but I have to say the Senegal home is one of the best in the entire tournament. Um, Argentina France. This was my favorite jersey matchup of the last World Cup. This one. Um, again, it is classically Argentina against classically France. However, the France has so much more class. If the Argentina jersey would not look so templatey, especially with the color that's so uneven. Um, and give me a little bit more. I think it could be way, way closer. But if I look at the France home jersey and then also if I would imagine the entire kit. France wins this one convincingly 3-1. Uh, we're going Wales, Ecuador. Again, I could imagine the white one being worn, but I think this will be one where uh, Ecuador can uh, wear their um, home jersey, which is better than Wales. Definitely. So Ecuador moving on there as well. And then in one of the best matchups, at least for me, Tunisia home against Mexico away. I love this Mexico away jersey. I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, but I really love the Aztec pattern on there. It's an absolute banger for me. And they would win against almost any jersey except for the Tunisia home. The Tunisia home, again, with Hannibal's armor, is just a tad better. But that one is one of those World Cup classics. 4-3. Uh, moving on. <laughs> Spain, Belgium away against Belgium away. This one was really, really hard for me. Um, overall, I have to say I do like both of them. Uh, I like the classic look for the Spain home, but I also like the playfulness of the Belgium away. And there's a little bit color added on. Um, and so it came down to me. I, it's a... It's a draw all the way, but I think this goes in overtime and it goes to penalties. And when the goalkeepers are up there, the decider for me is that I'd rather have the Belgium than the Spain one. And that's why Belgium moves on on penalties. Uh, Brazil against Uruguay, a very classic matchup. I could imagine that they play in both their home jerseys, although there is a slight there is a possibility that, that, that Uruguay play in all white. Although I would prefer the blue jersey to be worn in this matchup. And that's a matchup that in reality we also may well get. I think that the Brazil look is still better than Uruguay. Because Uruguay would have to play this with probably white pants. And then it doesn't look as cool and so on. Although, yeah, nah, Brazil winning that one. 2-1. Morocco against Germany, two uh, highly touted jerseys. For me, Morocco is just better than Germany. I love what they have done here. It is simple, but it is uh, absolutely stunning. Uh, easy 2-0 win for Morocco over Germany. Uh, Ghana against Switzerland is one of those that is probably won by an own goal in the 90th minute. No, I think Ghana is actually not that, that bad, but it's still a 1-0 win for Ghana over Switzerland. And we're done with the round of 16. In the quarterfinals, it actually started getting really, really tough uh, for me. And especially the first match between Senegal and France. I actually was going back and forth between those two. Uh, and the problem is that I love the design of Senegal by putting more or less the flag as a chevron across the chest of a white jersey. Versus the simplicity and class of the France jersey. And I was literally going back and forth. I think this is a really great matchup. Two of the best jerseys of that World Cup. 
both of which I think are worthy of winning it all, to be honest. So I gave it a 2-2 and then I slept over it. I had in Senegal giving the edge, but then no, the kit, France's kit, the over kit is just better. And so France moves on in a really, really tight classic if you like to say. Uh, another relatively tight one for me, but mostly again because Brazil is too light colored, but I think I still think of Brazil is better than Belgium. So Brazil moving on over Belgium 2-1. Tunisia, no problem. I mean, the Tunisia shirts, you know by now, I absolutely love and adore 3-0 over Ecuador. That's uh, another one where I could see a white or even the olive green one being worn. Just saying. And then the final quarter final matchup uh, is Morocco against Ghana, an African classic. Puma again and again it is. I think Morocco is just better than Ghana, honestly. And I miss my Morocco in green, but I think the red Morocco jersey is also really nice. Morocco is just better than Ghana, 2-0. So uh, we have then the, we have the semifinals, then France against Brazil and an African one, Tunisia against Morocco. So in the semifinal of the World Cup grades, France and Brazil, which I have to say is probably my second most favorite jersey matchup ever at a World Cup. Um, I actually think a royal blue France looks even better against uh, Brazil, but you know here, we have the dark navy tone against the uh, almost neon leopard skin Brazil jersey. Two really good ones. However, I already said it. I have more misgivings with Brazil's jersey than I have with France, where I think France has overall a whole lot of class. And so it is a 2-0 win for France over Brazil. For the second semi-final, Tunisia will play in their wonderful uh, red jersey, where the only misgiving I have is that I already have a great Tunisia home jersey. Um, but I love this one. I, again, Hannibal's armor against the Morocco away jersey. Now, the uh, Morocco away jersey, don't discount it. I think, yes, many gets, yeah, that we have this circle, but the circle is there and it's ornamented and so on. I think uh, I have more problem with the center stripe going down. I think this is a, of those Puma Bay jerseys, this might actually be the best. Egypt is also in there, but they are not at the World Cup. So uh, it is not as um, clear cut as it uh, should be. However, I think Tunisia, similar Tunisia or is on a similar strength as France over Brazil. So it's also a 2-0 win for Tunisia. We have a rematch of the group stage game, the final group stage game, we have that in the final. But before we get to the final, we have a third place matchup between Brazil and Morocco. And I really love this Morocco home jersey. Um, and I have quite some misgivings uh, for the Brazil jersey. I don't necessarily like the new crest um, and the coloring to me is also a little bit off. However, when I see it on a larger scale, A, I could see Morocco again wearing their away jersey in this one, although I really don't think so because Brazil's is so uh, light. So that against white will not work out well. Um, but, you know, the leopard skin pattern is such a nice touch where then the Morocco is just a little bit geometric. So, ah, it's a tight one. It's a tight one. And the winner in this one is Brazil with a 2-1 win in the third place matchup. So we come to the great final. And here I first have to say about kit matchup. Um, the dark blue France against the red of Tunisia could potentially work. However, if I see the entire kit, I have a feeling that if France play in their home kit, uh, then an all white, or maybe with blue pants, a dark blue against uh, all white Tunisia seems to be more likely. It's the same reason why in the last group stage game where Tunisia were the home team, I had the Tunisia in red against France in white. Again, the contrast I think wins out there, although I could see both home jerseys being worn, although in a monochromatic look. Okay, this these are, and I have to say that the white away jersey for Tunisia is just a tad below the red one. 
a tad below, but it's still an absolutely awesome jersey. These are two of the very best released for this World Cup. It's going to be a banger of a final. Um, after regulation, I honestly, I was looking at it back and forth. The class of France against the great design with a great, you know, a great national hero. Uh, uh, harking back to the history. This is what I like about the Tunisia shirt so, so much. So 3-3 three, three in the final. Going to overtime, I honestly think in this final, I, as I said, I expect a monochromatic France look, potentially one with the red socks, but I think more likely with all blue socks, which is again a look that I don't like as an all white Tunisia. Still, two great ones. 4-4. Four, four. I was going back and forth on this one. Who is the better shirt? Which shirt is the better one? And this is caveat that with the Tunisia is playing here in white. But still, there's Hannibal's armor on there. On the other side, this France jersey is such a great, great, great look. Um, I like the dark blue for France, although I do miss the royal blue days in a way. But I really like this dark blue with the gold. It's the touch of a champion. And those light, light vapor knit patterns with the, um, I think it's oak leaves in there on the sleeve cuffs. If you look at the cut, the collar is just pure French class. So after long deliberation and going back and forth, I have decided that the winner of the 2022 FIFA Jersey World Cup by my soccer universe is France. I just think it's a tad better. If this was red against uh, blue, it might have well been Tunisia. So that concludes my Jersey World Cup. I hope you did enjoy this video. Uh, before I say uh, goodbye, I just wanted to say the jersey that I chose here on the back, I basically went through my collection and said, okay, of the teams of the World Cup, what are my favorite jerseys? And then I chose my 14 favorites of these, although there were some tough choices in there overall. Again, I would like to know uh, who would you be your Jersey World Cup champion. I'm really interested. Also, don't forget to watch Idris's video. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these. I will most likely do Jersey uh, reviews, but I have to see how it works out with the scheduling. It might be that there will be only two through uh, per week through the entire World Cup, but um, gotta see. I really don't see at the moment how the schedule will go because the World Cup is also tight cramped together. In any case, I will surely talk to you soon. <laughs> Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.